Hello and welcome to top 10 facts about Vasily Ivanchuk, aka Big Chucky. Number 1. Ukrainian chess grandmaster Vasily Ivanchuk is widely considered to be the greatest chess player to have never won the world championship, a title previously attributed to Paul Karras. For a man who has dominated the world of chess for nearly 3 decades, Ivanchuk's durability at the top rates him among the top chess players in the world. Number 2. At the age of 22, Ivanchuk got his first bit of recognition in the chess world when he won the Linearis tournament, widely known as the Wimbledon of Chess, in 1991. In that particular event, the Ukrainian beat then reigning world champion and one of the chess greatest of all time, Garry Kasparov. Number 3. He's been in the absolute elite for more than 20 years now. Many of the players of his generation and even those younger than him have been overshadowed, but he stays at the top. Here's what Vasily says. Maybe it's the fact that I still remain a great interest in chess, an interest at the level of fanaticism. I still find it interesting to sit and examine games, learn new openings and endeavor better to understand the peculiarities of my opponent's styles. I still have the desire to fight and perhaps ambitions that haven't quite been satisfied. So I still feel I have the motivation I need to get ready again and again for a serious struggle. Number 4. To stay in shape, Vasily plays tennis when it's warmer, otherwise he exercises and sometimes goes to the gym. Though unfortunately not that often, he says. He's going to try to do that more frequently, he feels it is necessary. Number 5. Chucky was asked who he considers to be a genius. Capablanca, Fischer, Alakine and Kasparov. He doesn't consider Karpov to be a genius, and Tal is a mystery to him, he doesn't understand Tal. Among women it's Judith Polgar, and Magnus Carlsen is a big talent, but he doesn't consider him to be a genius. Number 6. Kasparov called him a genius, Anand the most eccentric chess player in the world. After his brilliant victory in the super tournament in Linearis, the figure of Vasily Ivanchuk was the focus of particular attention from the chess world. He was the one, according to all predictions, set to surpass Kasparov and Karpov, and become the world champion. Number 7. The man with the black hair and bedroom eyes is known as Big Chucky by his fellow chess players. Why? Because after losing a game, he goes into the forest at night and howls at the moon to drive out the demons, because he walks around in shorts in freezing temperatures, because he likes to sit in dark rooms, because he usually looks at the ceiling instead of the board during a chess match, because he tries to fold the oversized winner's check handed out after a tournament down to pocket size, and because he, as Wishy Anand says, lives on planet Ivanchuk. Number 8. On November 25, 2008, in Dresden, the last day of the Chess Olympiad, he lost to Gatakamski. When the game against the American ended, a judge asked Ivanchuk to submit to a drug test. Instead, he stormed out of the room in the conference center, kicked a concrete pillar in the lobby, pounded a countertop in the cafeteria with his fists and then vanished into the coach room. Throughout this performance, he was followed by a handful of officials. No one could convince Ivanchuk to provide a small amount of urine for the test. And because refusal is treated as a positive result, he was considered guilty of doping and could have been banned from professional chess for two years. Luckily, this didn't happen. Number 9. Vasily Ivanchuk lost only one game in Vaikanze 2015 and in an interview afterwards mentioned that it might have been because he failed to read enough Philippine folk tales to understand his opponent Wesley So. One time Ivanchuk defeated Kasparov in a rapid tournament held in Prague. In the post-match interview a reporter asked him what was the factor that motivated him to reject Kasparov's draw offer and go for a win. Here's what Chucky said. I went to watch a bullfight last night. The raging bull, it motivated me. That's the kind of eccentricity for which we love Chucky. And number 10. Before Ivanchuk had become a famous chess player, he was a little known chess junior in one of the more rural parts of the Soviet Union. His trainer could see what tremendous talent Vasily had and decided to enter him in one of the strong national Soviet tournaments. On the way to this tournament he explained to Vasily that it was a great advantage that no one knew of him. This way he could prepare for his well-known opponents, but no one could prepare for Vasily. The trainer told Vasily that he should not let anyone know what openings he plays. Upon arrival, Vasily and his trainer ran into Grandmaster Suetin. Trying to make conversation, Grandmaster Suetin said, So, tell me Vasily, how do you open with the white pieces? Vasily replied, Well, I like to play e4 or d4, but I've recently started playing knight f3, however, c4 is my real favorite. Perplexed, Grandmaster Suetin said, Well, if I play d4, how would you respond? Vasily said, I play either d5 or knight f6 or maybe d6 or e6. Grandmaster Suetin thought Ivanchuk would be crushed in the tournament. After all, the poor kid obviously didn't have a real opening repertoire, so he decided to show Vasily a rare variation of the Queen's Gambit accepted. Once he was done explaining the opening to Vasily, he decided to play some speed games with him to enable Vasily to get a feel for the opening. In the meantime, Vasily's trainer excused himself so he could say hello to some old acquaintances. About an hour later, the trainer returned to see Grandmaster Suetin playing Blitz with Ivanchuk. The trainer asked Grandmaster Suetin what was the match score so far. Grandmaster Suetin, who looked as if he had just been through war, muttered, We have played 10 games. 
The trainer said, yeah, but what's the score? Grandmaster Sweat in turn to the trainer and shouted, we have played 10 games. Ivanchuk had won all 10. And as usual, I have a question for you. Do you consider Chucky to be a genius? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and a comment. And if you're interested when a new video will be released, subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell button after. Thank you all for watching and see you next week.